Hi, Wycliffe Barrett here, X Plane Dedicated. Today we're looking at KPDX International, beautiful airport by Mr. X6. See you right after the intro. Bravo, Bravo, Bravo. Good afternoon to you. Report your uh, 2000 feet. We're looking at KPDX by Mr. X6. KPDX Portland International Airport in Oregon. Beautiful airport, absolutely huge. What I've done here is I've drawn around the boundaries. So this is where the photo scenery is within the red line. And outside of that is default scenery. It is massive. Way down at the bottom you can see there's Ikea. Right up at the top there's a dock by the river with boats. And then out to the left we've got the red borderline. And I've highlighted a golf course in there as well. I had an opportunity to talk to Justin and ask him a few questions. The first question I asked him was, did he only create for uh, X-Plane or did he work for any other platforms he told me I only develop for X-Plane at the moment once Dovetail's new flight simulator or any other new sim comes out I re will reconsider my options but for now I'll stay with X-Plane and we're happy that he does uh, I then asked him what are the major challenges in creating your very detailed airports and he told me that the major challenge he has is finding enough reference material. He spends hours going through the internet trying to find photos and uh, really good ground scenery, everything as you can see here. It's uh, actually hard for him to finish a scenery sometimes because you just do not understand the undertaking it, it is creating an international airport of this size. In actual fact, he spent over 100 man hours on this airport alone. I asked him, who inspires you in the X-Plane world? And no surprise, of course, one of the main inspirations for him is Chris K down at ISDG. Uh, also, Freddie Depuz and Antwerp, who is the author of W2XP. W2 so an awful lot of inspiration there for him from right around the world. As you can see, this is absolutely delightful to look at. It's one of, well, it's just amazing. There's so much detail in there. And, there are custom made buildings, but there are also some Lego brick buildings, which are really hard to identify between the two because it is all blended so well together. And look at it, it just looks absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna get into an aircraft in a moment or two, but let's just go through some of the details of it. Accurate 3D models for all major buildings, accurate airport layouts, including taxi signs, ATC routes and runway flows, photo real scenery for the surrounding area, animated airport vehicles, animated ground crews, animated jetways and marshlers, HDR night lighting and static aircraft. I will say, if you're going to look for somewhere to park at this airport, you're going to have problems because there are static aircraft everywhere, but you can take out the static aircraft folder if you so wish and if you fly online. Personally, I really like it. And one of the things that is really highlighted in here is the amount of detail. I just mentioned this and I, and I can't stop saying it enough because there is so much detail. It's just amazing. As you know, one of my favorite things is airport clutter. And I really, you know, I look at airports and make sure that they've got it right because not enough airport clutter and the airport looks sterile and I always look at uh, Amsterdam by Aerosoft for that. If you look at Amsterdam's, uh, Amsterdam Airport by Aerosoft it looks like a post-apocalyptic uh, wasteland. It's a beautiful airport but it's there's no, no clutter, no static aircraft, no clutter. Anyway, as we come down the boulevard here uh, towards the main terminal and buildings, you can see the level of detail. And I've just speeded up this film here because I'm in the racing drone, which is really, really fast. But just look at this detail. Uh, 3D cars in the car park, all the road layout is done. Looks absolutely superb. But there's, you know, there's some really nice surprises as we come down here and move up onto this elevated roadway here. And as we come up onto the elevated roadway and just turn around here and boom, look at that that absolutely beautiful look at the metalwork in that roof and ceiling there absolutely stunning there are a couple of little faults with it and uh, one of them would be on that elevated roadway because it just doesn't blend in too well at the ends of it but you know it's such a small niggle and it might be something that you might never see because you might never get around to it but just look at this you've got animated ground crew walking around there maybe not the best animations of people walking but they do you know they're there and uh, you know if you're walking around yourself you might actually catch uh, catch them and see them uh, as we fly through the jetways which of course are all animated but you do need marginals uh, animation uh, gateway plug-in for that to work just flying down the uh, 
the flight line here, so to speak. Look at all this clutter, all perfectly placed. Some of it not perfectly placed, so it's a little bit higgledy-piggledy, which is fine because that's how airports are. You know, they're not regimented. They're not. Not everything's in straight lines. The details on the roof of the buildings are brilliant. There's a 3D cars up there, 3D air conditioning units, and I have to tell you, it's very difficult to get 3D units, etc up on the tops of roofs of things because the roofs are not solid so you're not placing on top of a roof even though you're working with a building you have to place things in kind of 3d space and work it all out to the measurements so that it appears to be on the roof very very hard to do but Mr. X6, Justin has done this admirably it just looks so wonderful it's 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 amazing what he's done here. Um, I further went on to ask him uh, what was uh, his uh, main impetus for scenery development. And he just said he liked it. He likes creating airports. But the thing is that it takes so long. Over a hundred man hours have been spent on this beautifully rendered airport. And for many people in the, in the X-Plane world, we would be happy to pay money for something like this. But... Uh, he insists that you know his freeways actually creating airports is a part of his hobby you know it's not just the flying it's not just the the joy of flying around in the x-plane world but a part of that hobby an extension of his hobby is airport scenery development as it was for me unfortunately my skills are nowhere near as good as this uh, my skills lie in other areas uh, look at these aircraft down here absolutely beautiful I love this airport. I flew into it this morning online on stream. Uh, really, really nice. It's got beautiful approaches, several different approaches. I came in over the mountains by the river and as you come down towards the airport, you see the river off to the right hand side and it just looks so good. I really, really like this. I'm going to keep quiet for a moment or three just as we come towards the end of the video and I'll speak to you again in a moment. So you see this wonderful approach here as we come into, uh, I think it was runway 28, I can't quite remember, I've got to be honest, I think it was 28 left, but look at this beautiful approach by the river, and you see the airport there, I'm just coming in at kind of sunset so we can see the lighting, uh, rather than going into full darkness, I think uh, you'd rather get a better effect as we come into dusk here. But uh, I'm in the X737, so nothing set up. I just put it up on a 10 mile approach. That's why it's kind of zero, zero, zero right across the top there. Um, it's just a 10 mile approach, uh, no ILS or anything. I'm doing this all visually, flying it in by hand. And uh, absolutely gorgeous. Just love the river out to the right hand side there. Just looks so good. And it uh, flies. I mean, the, the 737, the X737 is, is, is a joy to fly by hand, as all 737s are. So let me just keep quiet once again whilst we come into land at Portland, Oregon. Uh, beautiful airport. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful.
One shot final now into KPDX, uh, absolutely beautiful airport, Mr. X6 has done a fabulous job here, well within the environment, well within the uh, confines of the photo scenery at the moment, uh, and you can see all the buildings on the left hand side there, there are so many place buildings, and the OSM that's generated for the United States now really blends in well, so if you look at the city of, uh, of Portland, it looks beautiful. Uh, Mr. X6 has done a wonderful job here. This could be payware. He produces it as freeware. Um, go and get it. It's not going to cost you anything at all. As always, my name is Wycliffe Barrett. This is x Dedicated. I suggest you wait until the very, very end of this video and see what happens after the outro. Please take care and we'll see you soon. Cheerio. Yeah. Hi, Wycliffe Barrett, X-Men Dedicated. Today we're looking at KPDX, which is important. It's the International Airport. It's by Mr. X-6. We'll see you after the intro.